Hey guys, John here. Today we're going to be using the Profit 5V. This is a lead. It's called Smooth and Creamy. And as you can see here on the playlist, it comes in at bar three. So here we go. All right, so let's get into it here. So this patch out of context sounds a little something like this. All right, so let's get into it here. So let's go to our advanced section over here and let's turn off our effects so we have something dry to work with here. Okay, so for our first oscillator here, we're not going to be changing any of the tuning, so it's going to be staying at zero semitones. We're using a saw wave over here. And then for our second oscillator, also as you notice here, there's no change in major detune over here, but we have a small little amount on the fine at negative 0.110 cents, just to get a little bit of those two waveforms not exactly the same, to kind of make it a little bit of a bigger sound here. Also going to be on a saw wave, and then we're not using anything over here except for the keyboard over here. So moving on to this mixer here, for the first oscillator it's going to be 6.48 in the mix, number 2 is going to be 3.52, and the noise is going to be at 0. So over here there's a little bit of glide, so we go over here to the glide section and it's 0 .020, we have legato on. We also have unison selected as well, and the detune is at 2.25%. And this detune, especially in the Prophet, is very nice. Even if you crank it up to almost like out of tuning kind of sound, it still sounds pretty rich and uh, sounds pretty good. So this, as you notice here, we're not going to be using any arpeggiator here. So this is going to be off so we can skip over all the section over here. So now going to the filter, the cutoff is going to be manually set at 65.7 hertz, the resonance 3.07, and the envelope amount 5.32. This keyboard light is going to be on. And then over here for this envelope, the attack is going to be 15 milliseconds decay, 143 milliseconds sustained one, and release 337 milliseconds. Now over here for the master amplifier envelope, the attack is going to be one millisecond decay, 2.640 seconds sustain 0.6, and the release 1.160 seconds. <laughs> And we all have customized macros done over here, which we're going to go over in just a little bit after we get through the effects. So something also important that might be easily overlooked is over here in the center section on the voice dispersion, we're going to be selecting number two right over here. So don't overlook this over here, even though it's kind of hard to see with the square here, we have to click this here and then select the number two because by default, it's going to be on one. So with that being said, let's go into the advanced section over here. So for our modulations, we're not going to be touching any of this. So it's a pretty simplistic patch. For the keyboard, this is all going to be default, but we are going to be using some effects here. So if we turn this on here, let's turn off our reverb, our delay, and then the first thing that we're going to be hitting is a chorus Juno 6. So with this off, by, by default, it's going to sound something like this. Then now with our chorus Juno 6. kind of just gives that vintage vibe just out of the box pretty much. So for our rate here is going to be 0.400 hertz. Our depth is going to be 4.44 milliseconds and the phase 180 degrees. And over here on the dry wet is going to be 56.4%. However, if you notice down here, we have a macro for this here, which we're going to get to in just a little bit. Next up, it hits a delay. And this is on ping pong, as you notice, it's kind of bouncing left and right and left and right, kind of making it a little bit bigger. Okay, so this delay, the time sync is going to be 1 over 8, the find is going to be 0.176, feedback 0 0.400, stereo spread 0 0.888, high pass frequency 125 hertz, and the low pass is going to be 4,207 hertz, and again, selected on the ping pong over here. So next up, we have our reverb. <laughs> Okay. 
Okay, so our size for our reverb is going to be 0.666. Uh, nice, I got that one right. Pre-delay, 0.003. Decay is going to be 0.256. Damping, 0.593. Stereo width is going to be... 0.364 input high pass 44 hertz and the input low pass is going to be 7661 hertz and we look over here on the dry wet it's going to be 45.2 now again down over here we have an effects macro as well so if we want to take out all the effects or maybe we like the delay we like the reverb but we don't want the course maybe a little bit less course we can always use this macro as well And the other macros here is going to be cut off too as well. As well as the resonance. And if you notice here, the resonance, when it's on max here, it's still not going to be on max resonance over here. And that's with intention because I didn't want it to go too far with this patch because the more resonance you're going to add with this type of filter, the more low end you will lose. So it's kind of almost a middle ground. If you notice down over here, we lose more and more low end, but we do get more of that resonance type of filters, especially when the, uh, the notes are hit. So it's kind of a good middle ground to uh, to set the resonance to taste depending on what you're doing. So last but not least, let's go check out some of the macros. So if we open up this gear here and kind of slide this over here to the left a little bit, we can go down to macros. So now this is where we can assign cutoff, resonance, chorus, and the effects here. So if we go on, on cutoff, it's just going to be the filter frequency, which is this guy over here. The resonance is going to be the resonance. But then once we get to the chorus and the effects, so what's going to happen if we hit the advanced tab, we go to the chorus and we see that this is FX1 dry wet, which is the first FX here. And it's going to be this dry wet knob here that's going to be modulated. So as we turn this here, we can see that knob going up and down. So not sure if you know how to assign macros in the profit, but this is basically how you do it here. And then the effects here is going to be for the dry wet for number two and three. So both of these bars will move simultaneously and they're going to be at the maximum volumes at their maximum spots. So yeah. That's pretty much how that works there. So this patch isn't too difficult really to make, but it's kind of one of those things where with the profit itself, you know, there's not so many options. So you're not kind of just buried in a lot of options. So you kind of have to use what you have. And by using that type of restriction, you can get some really cool sounds with it because the synth sounds very good. So if you'd like to get this patch for free, there's a link in the video description below and you can have it for yourself. So with that being said, let's play this out with smooth and creamy. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you learned something. We'll see you in the next video.